Welcome to a new part of our digital outreach series. This is going to be sort of a fun, casual segment uh, where Leah, this is Leah, and I, I'm Lauren, uh, we are two of the four employees here at the Aiken County Historical Museum. Um, but basically we're going to have a casual conversation about Aiken County's history. Some fun, uh, unique, interesting facts about our county, which is just fascinating. Um, but we're biased, so yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, welcome to our first part of the segment. We have not come up with a name with this yet. Very unusual for us. Yes, we, we like alliteration, so we were thinking uh, coffee with the county, or coffee with the county, let's spill the tea. Um, or county... Coffee clutch? Yes, or casual county history. Anyways, y'all feel free to put in the comments section what you think Please our title help. should be. Yes, exactly. For once, we are blocked for titles yes. in our brains. Um, but anywho, well, let's tell you where we are. Uh, we are in the Winter Colony exhibit, which is on the main floor of the Aiken County Historical Museum. And you are our captive audience, whether you like it or not. <laughs> so you're probably stuck at home, bored, uh, looking for something interesting on Facebook or Instagram. Look no further. Exactly. You won. <laughs> um, so you are welcome to explore Aiken County history with us in a casual manner with coffee and sweet tea. Because don't do unsweet tea. It's unnatural. <laughs> Um, so, we're going to start off by talking about the Winter Colony and those who founded it, which is, I believe, just off camera, a beautiful portrait of Celestine Eustace, and behind us, her niece, Louise Hitchcock. And Leah, if you'll tell us more about Celestine. Oh, I'm so glad that you asked about Celestine. She is my favorite. Um, hashtag girl crush awesome. when it comes to Celestine. <laughs> Um, Celestine Eustace was born actually in Paris, oh. um, so she grew up with, you know, spending a lot of time in France. Her parents were from New Orleans, so she had kind of dual citizenship. Oh. Um, so she grew up in the French manner and with some French ideals, and um, she actually inherited the guardianship of her niece and two nephews when they were orphaned. Oh. Um, her niece she grew quite close to, this is her niece here, this is Louise. Uh, this is Louise on the cover of a Time magazine. Oh, so, wow. you know, they were a very important family. Very impressive. Yes. Uh, Celestine brought Louise down here to Aiken because Louise had some sort of respiratory ailment. We think that it probably was um, tuberculosis because her mother died of tuberculosis, but we're not entirely sure. Sure. And um, it's interesting that you mentioned that because Aiken at that time was a um, health clinic or uh, a health resort for those who had um, pulmonary diseases, anything to do with the lung. And it's because at one time we were just covered up with pine trees in this area. And I believe pine trees emit some sort of oil yes, or smell. Yes, it is a product that they emit called pinene which is still used in bronchodilators today. Amazing, very cool. But it's something that wouldn't have cured your tuberculosis, sure, sure. but it would have made you feel a lot better because your, your um, bronchial tubes are being opened up. Right. Um, and in fact, um, the Highland Park Hotel, which we may explore in a later, later segment, is um, one of the first major hotels here in Aiken, and it was opened as a hospital for tuberculosis patients. Wow. Um, which is kind of cool. Um, but of course that, Tuberculosis aspect of Aiken's winter colony, uh, winter history, um, kind of faded, and the winter colony, the sporting aspect, really take front place. It did. It really, really picked up down here um, because uh, Celestine, she had started buying real estate here in the area and had really, you know, she had a really keen eye for, for good deals. When Louise married Thomas Hitchcock, mm. um, and they were both quite the sportsmen. Um, she was quite the equestrian, and so was he. And so when he came down and saw Aiken, he fell in love with it and fell in love with the loamy soil here. And Which I guess is good for horse hooves. Yes, very. Yeah. It's, it's soft and sandy, and it's it's good for for horse hooves and and uh, you know, as as y'all know, playing golf. Uh, so very important. Yes. Very important sport. <laughs> very important. <laughs> Uh, so Celestine saw that they were inviting more and more friends down, friends and family from mm -hmm. up north, and she started selling some of this real estate in parcels to these people. Smart lady. It's very smart lady. You can see, hashtag girl crush. You can <laughs> see why. 
Uh, she was very smart, and she was, um, I, ca I call her the real estate maven of, of Aiken and the Winter Colony. And yeah. she, she was kind of like the la grande dame of, of Aiken, if you yeah. will. Yeah, and that's kind of interesting because in the historical newspapers at the time, they basically say that the Winter Colony season does not start until Madame, because she preferred Madame, uh, Celestine Eustace arrived in town. Wonderful. What one of one of these things? One of these things. <laughs> they will herald my arrival. Exactly. Exactly. The season will start when we arrive. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, so Celestine is a quite a character here in Aiken, and she of course is just one of many, and she's just my favorite aspect of of yeah. the Winter Colony of this room. This is my favorite room in the house. It's my favorite exhibit by far. Um, what's your favorite part of this room? Oh gosh, well, I'm gonna show y'all, so bear with me. Um, I love this photograph. If I can get it going. Um, it is a Barton's Pond in the 18, late 1800s. And um, I love that it shows uh, men and women dressed in their finest, corseted up, you know, to every inch, um, fishing in the local pond here. And to me, what's kind of cool is that the, um, the Winter Colony was not about a bunch of wealthy people having parties in the area. These people were ones who were into the sporting life. You know, we've got pictures of them hunting, fishing. Um, of course, the drag races started here in Hitchcock Woods. Um, so really, these people were extremely active in the area of, as far as sporting goes. Now, when and you say drag races, do you mean those cars with the giant wheels? Yes, that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would have been way ahead of their time, <laughs> historically speaking. Um, no, but the drag races, so they would have um, dragged a scented cloth, much like we do today, oh. uh, through the woods, and then they would have had um, hounds. Uh, chase okay. after the scented rag, and it would basically be a, a drag hunt. Um, and you can actually see that this um, this year, hopefully, um, and around Thanksgiving, they have the blessing of the hounds, and then they have a drag race in uh, the Hitchcock Woods here, just down from the museum. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the sporting life continues for the Winter Colony today. Wonderful. Great. Well, um, we hope that y'all have enjoyed this segment, learning about Aiken's Winter Colony. And like I said, we'll be bringing this to you um, hopefully at least once a week. Yeah, hopefully at least once a week. While we still can. Yes, exactly, while we're still here um, and not working from home. Um, but help us out with the title. You know, give us some Please. feedback in the comments. Um, also, tell us what you would like for us to feature next. You know, maybe you want to hear about uh, Martha Schofield and the development of the Schofield school system. Maybe you want to hear about um, North Augusta's history or Wagner Sally or the Graniteville Mill systems. Yeah. What's your favorite part? Do yeah. you want to see the inside of the fire truck? Yes, we could do exclusive tours like that, kind of VIP behind the, behind the scenes tours because you've got exclusive access with us. Mm -hmm. um, we know all the um, uh, cool aspects of Aiken County's history and we can kind of take you on those behind the scenes tours. Um, so just let us know in the comments what you want to see from us, and we hope that you have enjoyed this time with your two favorite museum people at the Aiken County Historical Museum. Thank you, Leah. Thanks, Lauren. Cheers! Oh, that sounds sweet.